Hello and welcome to Charger Games. My name is Raja and this is the second episode of Unity C Sharp scripting tutorial. So in the last video we have learned about uh, what is scripting Unity and we have also learned how we can actually create new scripts and uh, we have also learned various ways to attach those scripts uh, to various game objects. So in the last video we have already created a script and we have named it test script and uh, we have opened it in mono develop so in this video what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be learning this code that unity enters in our script by default so we're gonna be learning what these things mean and why this unity includes it uh, by default and what will happen if we remove those things okay so I hope you guys will enjoy this video so let's get started so one thing you have to look at is whenever you are creating a new script what happens is you give your script a name as an example whenever we created our first script we give it a name of test script okay so creating a script in unity basically means creating a new class so whenever you create a new script by a name unity creates a class by that name okay so here as you can see the name of our script was test script so unity has created a public class named test script we will learn more about classes later on but as of now you can understand that in since c sharp is an object oriented programming language so classes are the very basic things of object oriented programming so whenever you create a new script it creates a class for you with the same name and if you try to rename this class to something else if I go and uh, limit test script 1 you will see a lot of errors you will see some errors when you go to run these things because actually the name doesn't match I don't know why it's in there. I think I have to do something else okay I haven't actually attached this script to something so let's create an empty game object and now right click on add component scripts new script and right now as you can see that not the new script one I made it wrong here. let's remove it and add component scripts I don't know why this is not showing you okay just drag and drop this test script here as you can see it says that can't add script component test script because the script class cannot be found that means here we have a test script here we have named our script test script but here we have changed the name of this class so whenever it is going to found unit is going to found the name and the class with this script name it is unable to found so that's why we cannot actually attach this script here as you can see it gives us error so if we change the name to the original name of the script again and if I try to add it again as you can see if I try to add it again now it works okay so very first thing you have to understand is don't change the name you have to give it the same name okay so next thing we're gonna learn is whenever you create this script the very first line you see is using unity engine and unit using system that collections so these things are something called namespaces okay so in C sharp there's a concept of namespace so if you are uh, if you have to use codes from certain namespace you have to include that namespace or you have to use that namespace at the very beginning of your code so as you can see here we have written using unity engine so that basically means we can use all the things that are defined inside this unity engine namespace and most of the things you're going to use are actually part of this unity engine namespace okay as you can see this public class test script has been uh, I don't know how to say that in object oriented programming there's a feature called inheritance and as you can see here we have a public class test script there then a semicolon and then a colon and then we have something written as mono behavior so here we are applying something called inheritance inheritance means this class is inheriting from this mono behavior class 
this mono behavior is the base class for everything in unity okay so if you want to use the start and update functions and anything most of the things not most of the things all of the things are actually inside this mono behavior class so we are inheriting from mono behavior class that basically means that we can use anything that is inside this mono behavior class and this mono behavior is also part of this unity engine namespace so if I go and delete this unity engine namespace as you can see it becomes red that means it is giving us an error because unity is not able to find this mono behavior uh, which is inside this unity engine namespace so if we want to use anything from this unity engine namespace we have to use that at the beginning of our code so as you can see if I have written it here and again the error is gone so these things are called namespaces okay and this thing is called the class that we have created and this thing is called mono behavior from which everything is defined everything we got everything from here and this is something called inheritance uh, we'll learn more about that in later videos so don't worry about them I just wanted to let you know why what you are doing and what unity has included the very first time you create a new script so then what you see is after the name of the class and the name of the mono behavior you can see two curly braces so within this curly braces this class ranges from this curly brace to this curly brace so inside this we have the body of the class okay so everything we're gonna do is we're gonna include them inside this body of the class and we have two more things these things are called functions this is called the start function as you can see from the name and this is called the update function as you can see from the name so when you create a new script unity by default includes these two things uh, in your game if you want you can delete these things but these things have some specific uh, some specific roles in your code okay and if we don't inherit from mono behavior uh, unity will not be able to do proper things with these functions okay since these things are also part of this mono behavior class so I have as I've said before most of the things you can do are actually part of this mono behavior class okay so this start function is what gets called at the start of the script and this update function is what is gonna call what is called each and every frame don't worry we'll learn more about this start and update functions uh, in later videos okay so we have pretty much learned the basics we have learned uh, what this namespace means we have learned about this class we have learned about this inheritance we have learned the body of the class and we have also learned about these two functions that are included by default so but if you create a new script unity you are let's delete that if you create a new script in unity you have created the script you have written the code but this script cannot uh, this script is not working right now so in order to make this script work you have to actually attach it attach this to some game object you can attach this to anything and if you only attach this to something only after that it will work okay so let me create a new empty game object and if I go and attach this script with it now this script is in a position to work so now we can actually uh, we can actually control the behavior of this game object using this script and we can also we can also cha change the behavior of the complete game by using this script in this game object so before I finish this video let's go and write our very first simple code so in the start function write debug dot log and within this just open a parenthesis and quotations in double quotes write start then end the double quotes and end the parenthesis and give a semicolon so what these things mean is this thing means that 
we are actually trying to log something and we are printing that inside the console. So this helps us in debugging our code later on. So if you do this, what will happen is, as I've said before, the start function gets called at the very first time you create a new script and run your game. So when you run your game, the start function gets called and this debug.lard happens and that is why this start things gets printed on our console. So let's go and click on window console and here you will see that thing that start thing gets printed. So if I go here and click on run, we can play. As you can see, since the start function is getting called at the first time, so this start thing is getting printed here. Okay. So let's go and clear that. So that is how you actually so I think you have got, you have understand what these basic things mean that Unity includes very first time you create a new script. It's actually very very important to understand what Unity includes in your script uh, before starting to learning writing your own code. Because this gives you a basic understanding of what you are doing and what, why you are doing that. Which is very very important in computer programming. Okay, so I think this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you really like this video, make sure to hit the like button and if you have any questions, any kind of questions, just write this in comments and let me know. If you want any kind of new tutorials, just let me know that and make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to check out my all my other videos, when I upload them, just click on the subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you very very much for watching and hope it helped. If you if it helped uh, make sure to like it, share it, and uh, write your comments. Thank you very much and have a great day. In the next video, we will start writing our own code. So let's see you in the next video. Thanks.